Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> From a baby pregnant with his own dog to a wild mushroom trip, here's our top 10 list of the weirdest moments in Family Guy. Number 10, Peter's Extreme Makeover. Lift up your shirt, son. I need an adult! I need an adult! You're not a shoplifter. You're just a fat kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, fatty, fat... Fatty? Hey, Tom, he's just a fat kid! So when we heard that Family Guy was tackling fat shaming and eating disorders, no one really expected it to get all serious and deep, and oh boy, were we right. Oh, honey, no one thinks you're fat. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, you can't park your van on the diving board. This is my son. Oh, my apologies. Hey, Tom, he's not a van, he's just a fat kid. Chris starts feeling down about his looks, and the advice he gets is, like, totally sketchy. Why don't you do what the supermodels do? Stick your finger down your throat, and throw up till you're skinny. A few moments later. Peter, are you okay? Peter steps up and offers to help him shed those pounds, but that plan goes down the drain real quick when he discovers there's surgical shortcuts to weight loss. And since his son refuses, Peter decides to give it a shot himself. I mean, what kind of lazy, narcissistic, irresponsible moron would even consider doing something as unbelievably foolish as getting liposuction? Who, I ask you? Who? Hello? Not satisfied with just being slim, he goes under the knife again for some more touch-ups. Knock, knock. Hey, pal, you can't just walk in here without holy crap, it's Peter. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and your... Oh, my. No doubt seeing Peter in his new versions is hella weird, but also unforgettable. Well, I'm going down to the Beautiful People's Club. The Beautiful People's Club? How come I never heard of that? Lois, I, I can't say anymore. I I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh, well, we, we call you normies. Okay, bye. Number nine, Microscopic Madness. Well, hello there, little guy. Any excuse is a perfect setup for a wild and offbeat adventure, no matter how ridiculous or weird it may seem. And Brian teasing Stewie about his height seems to be more than enough to kick off that chaos. But, you know, this is Family Guy. Wait a minute. This doesn't feel right. What button did you hit? That one. The tiny button. Wait, did you hit the tiny button or the button that says tiny? Yeah, you guessed it right. A little mishap with the machine ends up, well, let's just say amplifying things for him even more. I didn't say hit the big button that says tiny. I said hit the tiny button. The one you pressed is going to shrink us down to microscopic size. Well, why would you make the tiny button big? I had to make it big enough to write tiny on it. In a microscopic state, our duo must confront multiple obstacles to return to normality, all while discovering an entire ecosystem residing within the confines of their bedroom carpet. Eventually, they manage to regain their original size, but they overlooked one little detail. My God, it worked. Stewie, you're a genius. <laughs> No! Run! Haunted by gigantic dust mites and facing an impending insecticide bomb explosion, everything seems utterly hopeless for our friends. Fortunately, they have a small and weird ally on their side. Tiny Tom Cruise? Do you think that was enough to earn him a place in our top? Thank you, Tiny Tom Cruise. How can we ever repay you? Well, you could make a sizable donation to the Church of Spaceship Beep Boop. You mean the Church of... Yeah, kidnapping, torture, extortion, that's the one. Number eight, Brian's Mushroom Trip. These are mushrooms. It's a psychedelic drug. Makes you see weird things and feel happy for a few hours. I figure we're going to be stuck inside for a while with a storm, so it'll be a fun way to pass the time. When a storm hits the town of Quahog, residents are urged to stay indoors. And what would typically mean two days of hot chocolate and board games for any other family becomes the starting point for one of the weirdest stories in the Griffin household. Who else but our beloved family dog Brian would give us a story like this? He decides to experiment with shrooms to ride out the storm, and as expected in this show, things don't go exactly as he hoped. Brian? <laughs> Brian's mind-bending journey is a mix of creepy and twisted elements that you won't forget, and it deserved a spot in our list. And hey, Things all worked out fine in the end, right? I'm gonna cut my ear off to prevent World War II. I wonder. Aha! Number seven, a walk through the multiverse. Love it. Hate it. 
Love it. Hate it. Uh, Brian, this feels weird. Hit the button. When it comes to mind-bending moments, how could we forget Brian and Stewie's epic journey across the multiverse? Where are we? This is Cohort, Brian. Same year, same time. But in this universe, Christianity never existed. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. As you can imagine, the episode is filled with incredible and extremely bizarre moments. Apparently, this is a universe where everyone has two heads. One happy, one sad. I want you to know I love you. I'm trying to get excited about it. Our pals Dewey and Brian hop from one universe to another, encountering mind-blowing things along the way. One of the weirdest moments in the journey takes place in the Disney universe. <laughs> Look how gaily we rub! Doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with this place. Hello, everybody! Yeah! But if you think witnessing the Griffin family transformed into animated Disney characters complete with a full-blown musical deserves a spot on our list, you haven't seen the universe where dogs and humans swap roles. This is my family. My wife, Lois. My son, Chris. Chris, stop licking yourself and come up and say hi! My daughter, Meg. Our puppy, Stewie. And this is our human, Brian. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's definitely weird, right? He's from another universe where dogs are subservient to humans. Oh, you mean like that time we- Yep. When we bounced around between universes yep. and you couldn't figure out how to- Yes! Number six, Stewie's intense love. Oh, hey, Lois. Oh, you like staring? Oh, why don't I give you a closer look? Yeah, yeah, you want some of this Maury Poe bitch? Oh, what's that? Oh, you come back for more? I'd freaking drop her. We all know that little Stewie deeply despises his mom. That's why the moment he changed his feelings seemed to weird us out. When Lois saves the life of Rupert, Stewie swears eternal love to her. But his newfound affection becomes quite demanding for poor Lois. So warn the villagers, here comes the cuddle monster! Ah, uh, Lois, your breasts are great. Well, good morning, Mr. Hey there, must be cold in here. Exhausted, Lois starts getting fed up with her little baby's clingy behavior. Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> and soon enough, her behavior starts getting a bit disturbing. Lois, what are you doing? <laughs> Is there anything weirder and more twisted than a mom fantasizing about getting rid of her own child? Well, Stewie's fantasies are definitely a close contender. <laughs> I never knew there could be such a thing as a perfect day. Don't frolic too much, Rupert. Save some energy for the hula contest. Number five, Peter the Action Hero. This already doesn't make sense. Pretty sure we all agree a ripped, long-haired Peter is weird enough to make it into this list, don't we? You're fired, Griffin, for destroying company property. Tell it to my tongue. In the mind-blowing episode Three Directors, the show takes us on a wild ride showcasing Peter's firing story from the perspective of three film directors. But none of them are as weird and bizarre as this one. Look, Peter. I didn't want to ask you to do this because of that maverick but awesome thing you did in the Battle War of the Past. He went rogue and saved everyone's lives, but he didn't do it by the book. Is that why he can't get an erection? Everyone stop talking about me! Picture this. Peter transformed into a true action hero, battling the Decepticons with his bare hands, saving the seven wonders of the world, all while flexing muscles and his hair flowing in the wind. It's a combination of strange and awesome that'll leave you speechless. Hello, Peter. We're not joining your team. I'm putting together a team. We're in. Good. Let's shake hands like tough guys. <coughs> Some of your sweat went in my mouth. Let's all take a moment to appreciate these sexy and stunning visuals, shall we? <laughs> Number four, screwing with the past. Here we are. That's odd. It's our house, but somehow it looks a little different. When it comes to bizarre adventures, nothing beats Stewie and Brian's journey back in time to the very moment of the series pilot episode. Brian, there's one rule of time travel, and that is do not alter the past in any way or the consequences could be dire. Yeah, where'd you hear that? Quantum Leap? That guy changed the past all the time. However, it's not the trip itself that causes problems this time, but rather Brian's ego leading him down a dangerous path. Here, make sure you get all this. <laughs> Time to terrorize the terrorists. Yeah. <laughs>
Mohammed oughta stayed home. That's right, Brian decides to prevent the 9-11 attack inadvertently plunging the country into a civil war in an alternate world that's, let's say, quite different. Wow, this is the future? Everything looks slicker. Brian, you might want to look outside. Oh my god! But don't worry, with another trip to the past, they might be able to set things right again. We made 9-11 happen! High five! All right, high five! Yes. Well, that, that probably wouldn't look very good out of context. Or maybe not. There's the writer of the Harry Potter series. Must be weird hanging out with us muggles, huh, Brian? Yeah. Well, laundry them, insert them, huh? <laughs> Number three, Stewie and Brian's bizarre parenting adventure. Let's go to Whole Foods and buy a bunch of stuff from that weird aisle nobody else goes down. I can't. I got plans. I'll see you later. Oh, sure. Maybe another time. Ugh, I didn't seem too desperate, right? Ugh, don't answer. The relationship between Stewie and Brian has always been, well, weird. And while nobody questions the love that the little griffin feels for his dog, things can sometimes get a bit toxic. Babies save relationships. <laughs> Oh, look at you, you're flying. Okay, thanks, buddy. Next, I want to ride a bike. That's exactly what happened when Stewie felt like Brian was ditching him. That led to one of the most weirdest and twisted episodes of the show. We're pregnant. Oh my God. Oh my God, you're serious. People are going to think I had sex with a male baby and then got him pregnant. Oh, thank you for finding a way to make it sound horrible. And if you think the plan itself was already messed up, just wait till you see the mind-bending results. No doubt about it, this moment totally deserved its spot on our cool list. Stewie, this is awful. I don't know why anyone would want to be a parent, especially to four children. Four? I thought we were down to five. Yeah, the deaf one didn't hear Joe's lawnmower. Oh, that's really upsetting. Number two, the prostate exam. All right, Mr. Griffin, I'm just going to need you to drop your pants and we'll check your prostate. Uh, what? So how's this work? You just feel my pulse? So we're... Ah! 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 What the hell was that? Speaking of bizarre and twisted, none can compare to Peter's unforgettable prostate exam experience. Who's that? Who are you? Where's Peter? Where is he? You're a whore. Where your whore makeup, you whore. Is somebody in there? Occupado. What starts as a routine medical checkup quickly spirals out of control, leaving Peter feeling violated. Determined to seek justice, he launches a legal battle against the doctor, leading to a trial that becomes a little weird. I tried to get him to stop, but he kept saying, relax, I'm a doctor. This is ridiculous, that never happened. Sit down, you racist! Okay, it gets strangely weird. I'm a doctor. Ha, 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 ha. Little did Peter know that he would soon actually need that blessed exam and had to convince his doctor. Uh, package for Dr. Hartman? All right, where's the package? Here it is. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and open it up and reach on in there? Probably cookies or something. Wait a minute, there's something strange about this. And believe it or not, this crazy adventure actually had a happy ending. It's weird, yeah, but still, happily weird. Your license is hereby reinstated. And to think I actually thought you raped me. Well, I was going to, but you ran out of the room. What? Uh... Hey! And number one, teleported to Las Vegas. Here we go. Our grand prize winner is Brian Griffin. Yeah! Oh, really nice. Wow, I don't believe it. When it comes to the ultimate weird and twisted, we can't forget the time Stewie and Brian went to Vegas and tried to teleport. Remember? Okay, now the device is powered by kinetic energy, so you've got to dance to make it work. God, what, what are you doing, you tool? Do you know anything about science? You just saw me program it. And just like in typical Family Guy fashion, things never go as planned. You might think you've seen weirder stuff on the show than a couple of clones causing havoc, but get ready, because the real mind-bending madness is about to unfold. Oh my god, I don't believe it! Brian, we won! We won the jackpot! While the clone dudes are living it up, our dynamic duo is struggling to catch a break. Hey, Stewie, I need some more money. I lost it all, Brian. I was on my way to get ice cream, and I passed a roulette table, and I put it all on 16 because of that Taylor Swift song, 16. That song is called 15. It came up 15! But hold on tight, because things are about to take a dark and twisted turn. Kill him! He's a baby! He, he won't even remember he was alive! You son of a bitch! Ah, Stewie! For both sets of partners. Two, Two three! I'm sorry, I can't! I want to live! I didn't really think we were gonna do it! You dick! 
Watch and Stewie get that headshot and Brian jumping off a balcony definitely qualifies for our top spot, don't you think? Hey. Hey. We want to thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like the video for more Family Guy content. Go ahead and check out top 10 worst things Stewie has done shown on your screen right now because <laughs> it's stupidly hilarious.